Hey guys, we're gonna make marinated grilled cauliflower two ways today. It's gonna be awesome. Both ways are gonna be awesome. One way is going to be completely vegan. We're going to marinate it in coconut milk and we're gonna add some aromatics, some ginger, some lime, some curry powder. It's gonna be delicious and awesome, of course. The other way we're going to do it is we're going to marinate it in buttermilk and each one will be marinated in the fridge for about an hour. And the buttermilk cauliflower, we're going to just add some lemon zest, some parsley and some garlic. It's gonna be super duper yummy. Some olive oil, it will be really yummy. They're both delicious. The second one we're going to top with some Parmesan cheese at the end too. I just couldn't decide which one I wanted. So we're gonna do both. Let's get started. So let's get started with our coconutty, limey, gingery cauliflower steak. So I've already cut my cauliflower in half. As you can see, it was a full head of cauliflower. And I started from the root, the stem right here. And I took the leaves off and I very carefully cut it down the middle first. So now we have two pieces over here. And now we're gonna make two more steaks out of this piece. And you wanna do this very, very carefully because the cauliflower can crumble very easy. Okay, so now we've got our two steaks here, but this, these, this side is gonna get very crumbly. So this side you can either put, throw this in with the marinade and throw it on the grill, or you can just make two steaks, two yummy cauliflower steaks and save this for roasting cauliflower. Up to you. So let me set this aside and let's start making, let's do this one with, uh, with our um, coconut marinade. So I've got a plastic bag in here. I'm gonna stick it in here with a can of full fat coconut milk. And then we're going to add some aromatics to this bag. We're gonna add some ginger, some grated ginger. I don't even take the skin off. It grates perfectly fine on your microplane. So we've got some grated ginger. And next we're gonna add some lime zest, some fresh lime zest. And you can do this right in the bag, of course, too. It's just easier for me this way. I can smell the lime zest. I love lime and coconut together. Classic combination, smells delicious, tastes delicious. And when you're zesting citrus, make sure you don't go past the white. The white can be very bitter, it's the pit. Okay, so we've got that. And we're gonna take this, take our bag, and put in some curry powder. And we're gonna let this marinate for about an hour both of them. We'll let them both marinate for about an hour. Let's get that in there. And we're going to add a little soy sauce for salt, for our salt. And we're going to add the juice of this lime. And then we'll hit it with some lime and some fresh basil when it comes off the grill as well. So let's get that in there. Love lime juice. And I love my lemon squeezer because it doesn't leave any juice behind. Okay, that's good. Now we're just kind of gonna very gently, let's close it up, get the air out, and kind of very gently zhuzh it around and just leave it to marinate in the fridge or even on the counter um, for about an hour. Okay, that's perfect. So let's get started on our next one. Okay guys, let's get started on our next cauliflower steak. This one's going to be marinated in buttermilk. I have three garlic cloves and half of a lemon zested over here. They're, they're both zested on a microplane and we're gonna throw it in a bag with some buttermilk. So let's get our buttermilk in here and our garlic and lemon zest. And I'm gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. And we'll just stick our cauliflower in here to marinate for, for an hour. And then when it comes out, we're gonna hit it with some, have put some compound butter, 
some chive garlic um, lime compound butter on top with some Parmesan cheese, some chopped parsley, a little more lemon zest. It's gonna be amazing. So let's just dish this around and then I'm gonna go inside and I bring this inside and just put some, pop some salt and pepper in there and season it up. Guys, we forgot to add Worcestershire to our buttermilk marinade, which we're gonna do right now. Give it a little depth of flavor and a little richness. That's it. Also guys, the recipe is down below in the description box, along with timestamps. Okay guys, our cauliflower steaks have been marinating for a couple hours. Let's prep them all up and get them on our grill. Okay, so on our cutting board, we have our cauliflower steak that was marinating in Worcestershire, buttermilk and garlic. And I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil Kind of brush it all over just to make sure it doesn't stick but also it adds a little extra richness and flavor okay with my little brush that doesn't have a handle all right so let's get this on our grill we want to put it on indirect heat for a few minutes on each side Okay, now let's get our cauliflower steak that has been marinating in coconut milk and lime and ginger. Let's get that on our grill. Okay. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so, so delicious. All right, so this one I have some coconut oil, kind of keeping with the coconut flavor. Oh, I gotta go open this. I can't open it. Okay, we got it. So, let's drizzle this with a little coconut oil. I love coconut oil. And it has a pretty high smoke point, so we don't have to worry about it on the grill. Let's get a little more. And again, added flavor, added richness. I love coconut oil. All right, let's get this one on our grill. There we go. These are just gonna take a couple minutes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, our butter buttermilk marinated cauliflower steak is ready to flip. Got really delicious grill marks there. Then we'll do the other side. This one's not quite ready to flip. Okay guys, it's time to flip our coconut cauliflower steak. And this one looks delicious as well. Super duper delicious. And this one is almost done. Not quite, a few more minutes. Okay guys, let's take off our steak that was marinated in buttermilk. It looks perfect. Look how gorgeous that is. They're just so pretty. Let's put it on our platter, wait for that to finish cooking, and then I'll show you how we dress them all up. Okay guys, let's get our cauliflower steak that we had marinating in buttermilk all dressed up. So over here I have some compound butter that I had made a couple days ago. It has lime, chives, and... <laughs> excuse me, lime zest, chives, and garlic. Um, you can make another one with butter in it. I mean, with butter, of course there's butter in it. With lemon in it, or you could just use regular butter. I'm just gonna put a nice, you know, I'm not gonna use that piece because that was the end. I want a nice uniform piece. And you can see the pretty chives on the top. We'll put that back in and that's going to be delicious. Drizzle it with just a touch of olive oil. Little added richness, flavor. Then we're going to add some Parmesan cheese. We're gonna grate some Parmesan cheese over the top. Some real Parmesan cheese. This looks and smells so delicious. And it's a nice alternative to for vegetarians to meat. Then I have some pine nuts that were toasted. I toasted them myself when I brought them home from the grocery store. 
and then this will melt over the, it's already melting mm. Mm -mm -mm. then a little lemon zest over top for flavor but also it just looks gorgeous and smells good too and lemon zest like i always say is surprisingly very good for you all citrus zest Okay, make sure not to get the pith or the darn sticker. Then we're gonna hit it with some chopped parsley. And then this one is done. Perfect. Ta-da! All right, let's get off our other cauliflower steak. Okay guys, let's grab our other cauliflower steak. The one that was marinated in coconut milk looks super duper yummy. I think I'm gonna do, I want the flattest side possible down. I think we'll do it like that. Okay, so this one is going to get some fresh lime zest. There's no sticker on this lime. Mmm, smells so good. So, so, so good. I love lime and coconut together. Then we're actually going to hit it. First, I wanna put a little bit of um, smoked paprika on top, just for color. Not, well, not only for, for flavor, but for color. I think it looks really pretty and it tastes good. Then we're gonna hit it with some lime juice. Mmm, smells so good. You can smell the lime as it hits the hot cauliflower. Yum! And then, of course, we're going to add some chopped basil. You, if you can find Thai basil, that would be delicious. But this is perfect. And that's it. Cauliflower steaks, two ways. I will photograph this and I'll be back to taste it. Okay, guys, let's taste these. So get my fork and my knife and let's first try the one that's closest to me super tender looks delicious buttermilk the compound butter the lemon zest the parsley the olive oil the pine nuts the parmesan cheese the worcestershire in the marinade that's absolutely delicious still has, it's cooked all the way through, but it's not falling apart. Mm. Mm. You have to try this. It's so, so delicious. All right, let's try our coconut curry one. Again, cooked all the way through, but not overcooked, not mushy. Delicious. Mm. The lime, the coconut, the ginger. Mmm. Mmm. And totally vegan. Which is great. And the basil goes really well with it. Mmm. So good. <laughs> 